As back to school routines kick into gear in households across the country, many moms and little ones are re engaging in a morning battle of wills over hair. But a slew of new bristles and brushes and hair products are promising to make it all less painful. Anne Marie Chaker of Personal Journal joins us now with the story. Hi, Anne Marie. How do these tangles happen no. and why do they seem to happen so much more frequently in my children? Um, so what happens is the surface of the hair, the hair cuticle, is not smooth. It's actually rough. And that makes it easy for individual strands to kind of wrap around each other um, and make tangles and knots. And so kids being kids, they're so much more wiggly and active and they play all the time. So that just means more and more tangles and knots. And the other piece of this is um, that they're just not as sensitized to the feeling like as adults we get used to it and so that's why there's a lot of more howls and screams in the morning because they're just more sensitive. Oh I'm well acquainted with this having a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old so tell me about some of the products you brought. So these are really fun and I have a four-year-old at home and we've been kind of playing with some of these. Um, this is a tangle teaser um, and this is their flower pot magic flower pot edition the brush comes out like this. It looks like a little flower in a flower pot. And the bristles on a lot of these are really um, soft. So uh, unlike normal brushes, which in one fell swoop will take out a lot of the tangles, this might take a few times, but it's a more kind of gentle process. Um, and your daughter likes it? To like, uh, you know, it right. wasn't uh, <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> liked as much as she could. Um, this is called the Knot Genie. This was developed by a mom in Colorado. Um, and again, really, really soft bristles. Um, and you'll notice no handles, so it gives you a lot more control uh, over the brush itself. Um, this one has become really trendy. I had not heard of it before the story. It's called the Wet Brush. Um, and uh, it's supposed to work as well in the shower, in the bath, with on wet hair as with dry. Yes. And again, really s super soft bristles. Anne Marie, I have to tell you, I know the wet brush very well because it is the only brush <laughs> my boys will use. I, I swear they won't use a single. Mm -hmm. If that brush goes missing, all it's it's a disaster in my house in the morning. But you're trendy. I, I, I guess I'm trendy. But you say that in your story that sales of all these products are on the rise. Demand is up. Demand is up. They're doing well. Uh, and all of the, surprisingly, because the price on these, they're not cheap. No. They all range about $15 to $20. So uh, people are obviously like willing to spend more <laughs> on a hairbrush if it means a little bit less pain in the morning. Absolutely. Now, what about detangler sprays and creams? My, my sons also insist on using a detangler spray every morning. So are those also on the rise? These are on the rise too. We um, we were pleasantly surprised by this uh, product. It's by Unilever. It's a line called Just For Me. This is their pre-wash softening detangler, which I smushed on my daughter's hair before wetting the head and the shampoo and the conditioner. It just kind of took the tangles out from the get-go, um, seemed to work pretty well. This line has its roots in African-American and ethnic hair care, and Unilever said that they're trying to get it out more parts of the store so more families notice it. So we had fun with that one. And now, does this hair care drama actually shape the parent-child relationship? I think so. I mean, uh, it's definitely the most stressful part of my morning. Um, and then bath time is another, you know, bath time is a way for parents to spend time with children. Um, when my husband comes home, he gives our daughter a bath. And it's, you know, if you can get some of the hysterics out of it, I think it's just a, a much more pleasant experience. Absolutely. I completely agree. And Marie, thank you so much for that. Thank you.